Hey, what's up guys? It's Graphic Phoenix back with another video today. Today is a video of the new Aki monitor cages. So as you can see, there is two brand spanking new cages that I bought and remade, kind of, for the Ackies. I'm just going to go through them. Bowser is up top, Stella is on the bottom, and Bowser hates me now. <laughs> he doesn't hate me, he doesn't bite me or anything, but he's certainly not very happy that I decided to move him away from his woman, and now he can't have some fun whenever he wants. And I believe he's also a little bit mad at me for just moving him in general, kind of taking him from what he used to know to a brand new enclosure is a big step, and I guess I can kind of understand. He's not actually mean to me, he's actually right down there. So he's actually right down here, as you can see, just chilling. This, this door is a little sticky. This one works very well, but I'm just gonna have to deal with this door and try and figure something out. As for a tour with the cage, there's a mercury vapor bulb right there, uh, about 10 inches probably from the basking spot. There's also a big strip UVB at the back, and there's just a strip light at the front. It's a T8, just whatever light for light. It's not giving off any UVA or UVB or anything like that. I tried to go for a more realistic effect in this cage, obviously. A um, couple of logs of cork bark kind of lead to the driftwood, and then that decoration kind of ruins it. But I'm hoping to replace that with some custom hides that I'm going to make. I don't know how or when, but I'm hoping to make some hides for them and so they feel a little more secure. If you didn't know, Aki's love hiding in little spaces where they can kind of jam themselves in between and they feel secure. They go and make themselves nice and big, tight air balloons in there and they're very hard to get out of there. So we got a water bowl in there. And that kind of is everything. The dimensions for this tank are 4 feet by 2 feet by 2 feet. The bottom tank as well is 4 feet by 2 feet by 2 feet. So, nice big enclosures for each of them. I'm hoping if a female Aki decides to come into my life that I can house these two together. But the main purpose for why I separated them is for her. When I got her in, you guys might remember, she was a little bit worse for wear, and honestly the setup that I had for them was not ideal. I feel really bad for not moving her earlier, but she's still doing great now. She's looking up, and she's doing amazing, so I'm hoping it stays that way. But you can see here that she doesn't really have any claws or anything like that so it's really hard for her to climb and in that other cage the basking spot was like three feet off the ground and not really conducive to things that can't climb but here she is eating like a horse just chilling now if anybody knows what the stuff on her back is let me know I want to say it's just shed that hasn't come off, but I don't think it is. I'm not really sure what it is. If you happen to know what it is, be sure to tell me because I would really like to know what's going on. But her cage looks awesome and it is hot as hell in there. That is totally fine. There's a brand new UVB 10.0 right there. There's a 100 watt basking bulb there and an old 5.0 UVB over there. There's also room for a strip light, but I just haven't put one in yet. I will eventually, just to make it a little bit brighter. Hopefully a little less yellow than it actually is. As you can see, still very minimalistic, but effective setup for her. Nice big chunk of driftwood, or Mopani wood, or whatever the hell that's called. There's an old cave sitting that back there that I had lying around. Some cork bark. A Boston fern, just to add some plants in there. Uh, an open spot for a water bowl. I do need to throw one in, but... From what I understand, Aki's don't drink a ton. I also missed her and she can drink from there, so I'm not in a super big rush for that. Maybe that's bad. If you know that's a bad idea, scream at me. I will listen. I'll put another one in there. I have some lying around. I just haven't done it yet. And this is actually a lay box and a human hide for her. So if you guys have kept Aki's and know what they like to lay their eggs in, please be sure to let me know. I believe it's about 10 inches deep. Not the substrate itself, but the box. If I have to fill it pretty much full, then I will. But right now, there's just moss in there. If that's good enough, 
be sure to let me know. If not, point me in the right direction and I will change. But she is doing absolutely outstanding. I'm super, super happy with the results. Now we've kind of finished the tour and everything looks great. I do have to mention a big thanks to my girlfriend for helping me out. She did a ton of this with me. She verithaned and did a bunch of stuff with me, so thanks, babe. She also mentioned that if I didn't mention her name, that I'd be a dead man. So, I mentioned your name. I live another day. Anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it. The new cages look absolutely fantastic. Hopefully, Bowser will warm up to me pretty soon. If you guys liked the video, drop a like down below. If you guys want to see more of my content, of course, subscribe to this channel and you'll be notified whenever I post a video. I post reptile, I post fish, I post plant-related videos, so if any of those strike your fancy, click that subscribe button down below. And if you made it this far to the video, in the comment section, leave the word Stella, and I'll know that you made it to the very end. As well in the comment section, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, if you have the answer to whatever's on Stella's back, or what you recommend putting in the lay box, be sure to let me know. I want to hear you, what you guys think of the new cages, everything like that. I hope everybody enjoyed. I certainly do. Graphic Phoenix, Adi.